Here we go, fellows. Tony C, Turk, Bryson P, Gizmo, ZL, Bryce H. Bryson P in the house. can't wait to find out tomorrow what Grady Greats has given us. He wanted to do it tonight, but of course, as you know, it was Friday night family night, so I couldn't talk business and deals with Grady Greats guys. I said, we'll do it tomorrow. He sent me a list of what the, uh, like a sample of what one of the boxes will be like. Holy crap. Turk down to Tony C. Bryson, Bryson, Turk, Giz, ZL, and Tony C. Holy cannoli. Teenage Wasteland. Um pretty cool that Bryce Harper's in our break tonight. Yeah, <laughs> Bryce, and you're as bad as me, dude. Do you have ADD as well? Getting all your, like, stuff mixed up? Now, guys, this is right, right? AL East, Central and West, East Central West. I got one of these in a jumbo little Chris Bryant mini and we got to talk about the rules guys USA card rules I'll tell you them in a minute there's USA cards in here. We updated the break accordingly and the website. So there's no confusion. Seven times. AL Central down to the NL Central and those five game winning streak Chicago Cubs. Maybe it's eight. Point is they won. Again. So there's eight times crew. NL Central down to the NL West. I'll go ahead and grab those. Who was number one? Bryce Harper. AL Central or NL Central to NL West. NL Central to NL West. Central East East. Central West West. Central East East. Central West West. Okay. Let's print this bad boy off. How do you guys feel about the automated randomizer? Like Brian has. I like don't want to copy him, but I mean, it's a competitive industry. I need to make things more efficient. I gotta make things more efficient. Just wanna say a shout out and welcome to the crew. Bryson P. Gizmo's been hanging. Maybe Bryce Harper's watching. Bryce Harper, you have the NL Central. I just emailed Bryce H. 
and he asked if I record the breaks. So I don't think he's here. Johnny. Johnny, did you see your Willie Stargell relic? You never know what's going to happen around Top Shelf Breaks. I'm no Randy can vouch for that. Just out of the blue, stuff pops up like, here, you have this. Or if I think a break was kind of crappy, I'll find something to random it off. Bryce Harper, you have the Central. Bryson P., you have the East. Turk, 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 you got the NL East. Randy, if you want to tweet Turk, he's got the NL East. Gizmo, you got the Central. ZL, you've got the West. And Tony C, you've got the NL West. Does anybody want to trade anything? Yeah, Randy, Turk has the NL East. Oh, Panic is ZL. You guys ready? There's no trades. Any trades? What are you talking about? What I'm saying is there any trades? What more can I say than is there any trades? I can't believe it. Well, you ready? That's impossible. It's not. Let's do it. These are the last five boxes from the case that we got Wednesday. We did 15 on Wednesday night. Good luck, you guys. Steph Curry's a monster, man. Did you guys see the... Nate and I were watching the end of the Clippers game last night. Holy crap. I've never seen a meltdown like that. I was watching like What the fuck? Whoops. Sorry about that. I think that's what the Clippers were saying when they got into the locker room. This, we go live to the Clippers locker room. Yeah, Bryce. What's wrong, Shiny? That's why I gave you a Willie Starchel relic, so you know, to ease the pain. There's a prism. Arietta. Woo. 
George Brett, Diamond Marshalls, Joey Vato, hey Joey Vato, what's up Vato, let's see some of them really cool purple ones that I like. They're like, what is going on with the freaking clippers? You suck, you suck ass. It's a horrible meltdown. Casimir, Panini. Those are nice. So guys, here's what's going on with Top Shelf Breaks. We do ship everything, all breaks, all days, all cards. But what's happening is Top Shelf Breaks is kind of picking up business. Oh, wait, before we do the... USA cards. I put it on the website, but here's the rule for USA cards. Everybody listening? Yes, you are. USA cards. The checklist does not say the team. It just says collegiate baseball team. So if it did say a team, then it would go to that team. So we will then defer to the current team that that player is on. If they're retired or no longer playing, it will go to the team where they have the longest tenure. Okay, so college goes to current team. If they're not on the current team, uh, then it goes to the longest tenure. And what I mean by current team is, even if they're on the active roster, if you go to MLB.com, they're on the roster, that's the team it goes to. If they're not anywhere, then it's going to go to the longest tenure, which we'll find out somehow, MLB.com or Wikipedia. All right? <laughs> I know, Shiny. I don't. I think Shawnee is a dad. I think Will Clark Prism. So we have to. Where did Will Clark play the longest? We'll have to look that up. Uh, but what I was saying was, with the base, you know, we really, really don't have a problem shipping all cards, especially to people who really, really, really want them. But there's many guys we're finding out that they just don't care about common base. I'm talking common, common stuff. We will go through and pull out to the best of our ability the hot rookies, numbered cards, colored, parallels, frames. But, you know, Craig Biggio, common? No. Alex Gordon. Ooh, here we go. Boston, Mookie Betts. Sweet auto, followed up by Bryson Harper. You guys got to help me out with the visions in baseball. I'm a football guy. Oh, no, these are the AL East, though. Red Sox, right? That looks like uh, Bryson P. You had two friends naked? Two naked friends named, and they were guys, Bryson? That's interesting. What the heck? Are you drunk? <laughs> and a Bryce Harper prism. Yeah, for you new guys in here, I'm a football fanatic, a football savant. I am not a baseball savant. I am a sports guy. I love sports, as you can see around my room. Well, you can't see right now. Hey, Shawnee, what happened to your Pirates today against my Cubs? <laughs> that was a good game. I was listening on the radio. Yeah, oh, let's see if that, it's numbered to 149, Mookie. Ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, baby. Actually, it's a... Kapooya! Kapooya! Yeah, man. The Mooks are die-cut checkered. That's their checkered fresh faces, even. Nice. Randy Steel Gator got a uh, Rusney Castillo auto from Diamond Kings tonight. Clayton Kershaw camo prism and poop holes. Boy, did poop holes really rub me the wrong way when he was a cardinal. Way to go, Bryson. Oh, yeah, me and hockey, forget it. I like doing the production. Nate can break. 
I like breaking football because I know definitely know the football. There's a prism. I did take my meds today, so that's good. Problem is, I took them at eight this morning. It's now eleven o'clock. Whoa! Fresh faces, Jung Hung Kong. He's a pirate. Bryson, did you see that it was numbered to your Mookie? Your Mookie's numbered to 149. And Harper is to 50. Boom, boom. Billy Butler to 149, checkered. Still got another auto to go, fellows, in four boxes. Isn't this fun? I should have took the last spot in this. I'm not kidding. Shoot, we don't have any more. Get Rizzo, I said. There's Handley, Alex Cobb. So this should be an auto, right? Two autographs per box, it's in here. Or else Panini's gonna be sending something to Top Shelf Breaks. Looks like a die cut auto or something. Fresh Faces auto again? Oh my goodness. Fresh Faces auto? Guys, it's a blue helmet. I'm getting nervous. It's a blue helmet? It's Dalton Pompey, it's not an auto. Where's our other auto? Adam Eaton, Felix. This freaking happened to me with Jumbo. I don't get it. Two autographs per box, biatches. And there literally is not two autos in here. We've never, this, we got shorted on when we did our hockey uh, score boxes. Well, that's why I have it recorded. Remember doing hockey, Randy? When we did our little score boxes, they would short us a hit. So we've not had to, uh, Nate would just email them send them the video link and they would send the hit so there's definitely I thought that was going to be it it was the last pack Let's do this then. Let's random this. Brandon Phillips auto. 
can't be having my customers not get what they freaking want, what they're supposed to get. Yeah, it's definitely not in there. Okay, okay, so I'll random that thing off. I'm saying that's the first time it's happened other than a score, like a cheap $40 box of score would would short us. So we'll random this Brandon Phillips high tech off. we just got today I don't even know what if that's like a really expensive card I don't even know we got it as an extra today all right let me I got to put some back support on here fellows cuz alrighty and you guys heard the, heard the rules about the uh, USA cards, right? Bryce Harper to 50. All right. Panix is in the house, right? ZL? Good for Golden State. It's nice to see some different teams in this. Maybe the Clippers will make it. And we go live to the fourth quarter with the Los Angeles Clippers. That was a freaking meltdown there. That was a meltdown of all meltdowns. I'm trying to put these here so I can reference them if need be. There we go. Oh, well, there you go. Told you I didn't know. Franklin Thomas. Abreu. Chu Chin Chin Hudson Hosmer Cole Whoa, this looks fancy. It's a Rosny Prism. It looks fancy. They trick you nowadays, right guys, with this new product? You used to get excited like, oh this is some crazy wacky multi rainbow looking fractor thing. But it's just a prism. But underneath of that is good old Brandon Finnegan. Kansas City. Yeah, he was the first guy to be in the College World Series and the, and, uh, the Major League World Series in 30 years. First player to ever play in both the college and big league world series. See, not only can you do cool stuff here at TSB, but you learn. You can learn things here. Bautista. Learning is fundamental. Or is that reading? Reading is fundamental. Riff. Is that yours, Gizzy? David Price, USA, USA. Oh, look at this. 
Matt Scherzer. Auto's coming out early. Maybe there's three in this box. That'd be sweet. First three in the box, I'm taking back the $5 Brandon Phillips. Just kidding. You taught me that? Giz, was that you? Because I remember seeing it on another card somewhere. You mentioned it. <laughs> See, I learned. Bryce H. Boy, did he get excited when he sees Chicago. Devin Mazarasco. This is my favorite. This purple... What are they calling this? Purple Blast? Purple Wave? Purple Haze? Number to 99? Number to 99. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. OZ Sports Fan. OZ Sports Fan has entered the building. Oz loves Taj Boyd. Here's a red power, I think they call it. 125, Ryan Braun. Bryce H. David Wright and Ortiz. Machado, Bonds, Taylor, and Gordon. I'm going to see if I can find something. All my PC is football, pretty much. It's been baseball lately because Randy Steel Gator has tricked me into buying baseball. <laughs> I did, Oz. I was like, tell, tell Oz you, want to, you got a Taj. Yeah, Ozzy's are future walkers. It's Saturday for him. Fresh faces, Buxton. Rizzo! Rizzo to 50. Dope. Man, I'll tell you, the Cubs are definitely... I live here. I'm a Chicago, and I'm a Cubs fan. I lived in Wrigleyville for my few years. And the Cubs are like, in a break, you know, the team that you just didn't want to get. Who cares? But now, holy crap. See, look. There's one of them. And I get to stay at Saltzman's house. Because I told him in the beginning of the season, like during football season, I was like, dude, if the Cubs, when the Cubs make it to the playoffs this year, I, I claim your couch. You're going to have a lot of people because he lives in Wrigleyville. And he said, done deal. I said, I'll buy beers. So I got a place to stay at the playoffs in the World Series. Jock Peterson and Rua. Don't know if I'll be able to go to the game, but I'll be in Wrigleyville. 149. Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> I did get that hit and give it away. I just, you know. The baseball stuff I like, I get it. I get it mostly for trading. To trade with guys. Or give away to somebody. It's just cardboard. And if it means a lot more to somebody else, heck, I'd rather them have it. So I gotta find. I wanna. I wanna give something away for the short panini hit in here. I have to ask Nate. He dealt with that before when they shorted us. I think we email him something and send him the video.
Come on, baby. There's a Scherzer. How do you pronounce the Cubs guys? Scissor or Scherzer? There's Griffey. These fireworks cards are numbered, not this one. This is must be the base fireworks parallel, but we need to get a black finite one of one, which we have not had in the whole case, guys. There's not been a one of one in this case. How's there, Randy? Watch as I pull it next. That's how that usually happens. I sent you Star Wars stuff, Oz? Guess I did, huh? Or did you win one of our giveaways or something? There's a Puig Prism. Um, they're cool. No, I think the basketballs are much more fireworkies and tie-dye looking. I like the select tie-dyes. I could find a cool football card to give away in a baseball hitless break. That's for sure. I don't know if I have any dope baseball stuff here. 125, Matt Barnes. Matty Barnes. Red Power, I think they're calling that one. Bryson P. Hooked on phonics. Worked for me. Abreu Prism. Man, I've say 90% of all been these rookie card on carters. Kendall Graveman. Oakland. That's AL West, isn't it? So baseball, guys, maybe you weren't here last night, but uh, we are doing an exclusive deal, exclusive as exclusive is, for real, with graded greats. We're going to start with 10 boxes. All cards are going to be PSA graded, Hall of Famers. Four of them per box, plus vintage packs and bonus cards and chase. So like I said, I was saying earlier... I'll know the details tomorrow. I mean, we've been talking about it for the past few weeks. So if you're baseball guys, definitely want to get in on some graded greats. TSB. Here's a Mookie to 60. Yeah, look at that, Randy. I'm getting good. There you go, Panic. Mookie bets. Purdy, Purdy cards. 60. I always go back and forth. I like shiny things, but then I'll be opening something like Gypsy Queen and their cool relics, and I'll be like, oh man, relics rule. I love me some relics. Ah! Huh? Todd Frazier, Sonny Gray, Kenny, Masahiro Tanaka, Henderson Alvarez, and Brett Gardner. There you go, Panics. Ring a ding ding, baby. That's for you, for your first hit, or maybe it was your second. No, no auto, Bryce. I see a lot of this guy's card. You know what this guy reminds me of? He reminds me of the Michael Agnew of football, or the Taj Boyd, or the Isaiah Pede. He's like the Isaiah Pede of Prism Baseball. Reimer Liriano. Thomas Hunjin Ru. Brandon Finnegan. Here's another auto. So, wait, are we getting bonus autos here? No. Another rookie auto, Daniel Norris. 
That would be Toronto. Not numbered. Toronto, I believe, is the American League. Al Contrera, you suck. What up, Biatch? What's up? Just breaking some cards, man. Chilling. Looking for some monsters. Looking for some big hits. This is the last few boxes of a case. So it'll be nice to see a one of one. It's a 42 set. All cards are numbered to 42. Alex Cobb. Not sure if he's related to Ty or not. Could be related to Ty. AL East Toronto. Two boxes left, guys. We need a black finite. I think that's what it's called, black finite. I think Panini or Tops, and maybe they've done this. They had to have done this. They should do a promotion, a sweepstakes, where you can pick, pick the subset. You know, like Lay's does with potato chips, like pick a flavor. Do a sweepstakes and come up with a color, like a refractor. You know, like I know a lot of stuff is taken, but I'm sure there's some creativity out there. Somebody get tops on the line. That's a killer idea. Ricky Henderson camo to one ninety nine. Like aquamarine. Well, that sounds dumb, but something cool. He does look like Ty, doesn't he, Randy? He really did look like Ty. Ty Cobb. I bet if I read the back of it, it might say he's a long lost grandson of Ty Cobb or something to that effect <laughs> come on pull 101 for some of these newer guys in here TSB rookies Here's a Goldie freaking 10, Adam Wainwright. That'll work. Central. Bryce H. Adam Wainwright Gold. I'm sure you guys have seen these in person by now, but the camera doesn't really do it justice. That's 9 of 10. Wainwright Gold. What, Bryson? The Die Cut Ninja Star Infinite Pink Super Sparkle. There you go, Oz. You win. It's a little long to fit on the back of a pack as far as the odds go, but I like it. Prince Fielder, 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 Fat Fielder. What should I buy into, Bryson? Oh, the GQ mixer? That thing's dope. Giancarlo Stanton. Gold. Regular. Regular. Gold. Very nice. Um, Prince Fielder. Rangers? That's what that says. Here's a Rizzo Prism. 
Here's an auto. Followed by Puig Fireworks. 11 of 50 from the O's. How about them O's, hon? We're going down to Book Powell's, get some barbecue, take my bottle of water. Hopefully I don't get too sick. I might have to call an ambulance come get me. Down there at Oriole Park at Cadman Yards, hon. 11 of 50. I believe they're in the Yankees division. I can go over everything. I got them all here. Hit recap. Puig Fireworks. How's Puig doing this year, baseball guys? Is he panning out to be like the monster freaking guy that we thought he would be? Remember the Puig Super Fractor Hunt? Oh, Randy, by the way, some guy on eBay offered me, he had it at 400 I offered him 150 I think, for a Silas Red Super Fractor Auto. Number to 42, Kendall Graveman. Two fifty. he's asking for it. Oh, that's tempting. I may give him 200 And I think it's a Bowman Super Fractor. Carpenter Prism. Come on, Black Finite. Oh, that's right. He got hit by a pitch, didn't he, a couple weeks ago? I want to fill the 10 boxes of Diamond King. That's the break right there. Here's another auto. Matty Barnes, which I think we've... And Freddie Freeman. Barnes, 10 of 125. Red checker. Man, yeah, you're right. There's my eBay now going off. Do you hear it on my phone? Uh, that's who? Boston? Yeah, I believe that's another American League East. Bryson P. Red Trout Auto? We got a 10 box Diamond Kings, Duncan. Ten boxes of freaking Diamond Kings. BOGO. You get two teams. Over ten boxes. For something silly like, I don't know, 50 bucks. Don't quote me on that. But somewhere around there. Our spots never reach up near 55 56 dollars. Hello. So that's a pretty cool card. I mean, I know it's not a super... Ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, baby. Kapoya! Kapoya! But they're nice to have. Fresh faces. Wow! <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Were you guys just talking about Trout Reds? 125 Trout Red Checker. Beauty, look at that. Man, they are nice. I'll tell you. They are literally nice. Forty-one bucks, yeah, eight bucks. Oh, you know me, I get my numbers mixed up. Eight, ten, we did ten boxes of something. What did we do ten boxes of, Randy? Oh, we did ten boxes of, was it Prism? Yeah, we did ten and five. You like that panic? Do, 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 do. One box left of the whole case. 
Let's see. Fresh faces, Dilson. Kirby Puckett. To 60. Bronze or something. Kirby Puckett to 60. Cliff Lee and Fernandez. Here we go now. All right, let's get some last box mojo going here. You gotta redeem it at some point. I redeem them as soon as I get them. Last box, guys. Let's get a black finite. Because I want to see one. I haven't seen them. Not even online or anything. Really? Nice. The gold, the 60? There he is. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mock to the house. Whoa. I haven't seen this one. It's Mock music. Mock has his own theme song. Here we go, numbered to 100, 73 of 100. Jeez, AL East again. Weiler's Autos. What up, Weiler? How you living, Weiler? Oh, what is this? This looks different. But it's not. Here's our boy, Wee Chung Wang. Chinaman. NL Central. Bryce H. Oh, I hate when that happens. My phone just went off with some reminders. I get reminders when there's five minutes left. And it's been going off over there and I haven't looked. So I know I'm going to miss a card by like 20 cents. Don't you hate when you go and put a bunch of offers or bids on cards? You know, and you, it's like an eight-day uh, an eight day sale, and then you totally forget, and then all of a sudden it says, "Congratulations, you won something." And then, but you did that like thirty times, and you ended up spending like one hundred fifty dollars and forgot. Here's a purple ninety-nine, Lane Adams. Going to the Royals. I'm sorry, the Kansas City Baseball Club. And you Darvish, red checkered to 125. You Darvish to 125. 
I love these on-card autos, man. I would say 80% have been on-card autos, these rookies. I haven't seen many non-on-carders in this, which there are a lot. I just, we haven't been pulling them. Oh, Bryson, you're going to fall in love with graded greats, dude. <laughs> so what I do, and I told you this story before, but here's what I do on eBay when I make a best offer. First off, I don't put in a super low ball offer. I think that's offensive. I put in an honest-to-goodness, realistic opening offer that I know they're probably not going to take, but it's enough to make them counter versus decline it. And then we'll go from there. But when I'm selling an item and somebody puts a low ball offer on my item, maybe this happened to you guys, if they put a low ball, let's say I got a card up on and it's literally a hundred dollar card and I have it up for buy it now or best offer, maybe 115, 125, something like that. I want to get a hundred bucks for it realistically. Someone will come in and offer $40. Best offer received. I'm like, oh, cool. It's 40 bucks. So I will counter to what I want 120 or 101 then they will counter back and then I'll go higher than my last offer so when I counter twice with somebody the price goes up it costs you more or I'll come down one penny drives people nuts like, okay, I wanted 105, how about 104.99? Or I go up, like I said. I can just picture the person on the other end going, God, that guy's a jerk. You suck. Sixty? I'm saying if it's an actual true, everyone knows it's like a hundred dollar card based on sold Ebays. I don't think sixty bucks is a bad opening if it's a true one hundred dollar card based on sold Ebays with bids. There's a Baez fresh faces. Tim Hudson to ninety nine, two packs left. Well, yeah, because it's like, I mean, do they think I don't know? I don't know. Do they think I'm going to put up a true $100 card? They don't think I checked comparables and the clothes and you know, comps. And then they're going to try and I'm just going to say, yeah, I'll take $40. I mean, I guess people do that because they need the money. But I have respect for these cards and these players. I'm not going to sell stuff for that cheap. So the price goes up and they go away. I do it with real estate too. I'm in real estate, so I, I kind of do that too. Ah, oh, you know what? You didn't like my client's first offer? Well, now we're offering more. I mean, less. Brandon Finnegan, Fresh Faces. Lorenzo Cain. Oh, boy. Long day today. Yeah, if it was a $100 card and someone was serious and like, look, let's just stop dicking around. I'll give you 90 bucks for it. I probably would take it. You know, it's $90 in my pocket. Then I can use that PayPal to buy into breaks and do breaks of my own cards. Do, 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 do.
<laughs> there you go, Bryson P. Well, like I tell everybody, I tried to do that. I tried it. People are like, damn, man, TSB is always pulling killer hits for us. We're like, yeah, we tried that. We meant to do that. We had a lot to do with it, other than just opening it up. Well, that Brandon Phillips... 70 of 99, Lane Adams. Win Chan Wang. Wee Chan Wang. Non numbered. Chris Bryant, fresh faces. Matty Barnes to 125, Boston. Baltimore, 50. Christian Walker, he's got a cool save. All right, Duncan. Daniel Norris, Kendall Graveman, Matt Shazerzer, Shazerzer, and Finnegan. Now, we were shorted in auto in box one. Let's see if this is Ty Cobb's number to 42, of course. It's the 42 set. Nope, doesn't say anything. Usually if it's a relative of a legend, they tell you. Like the Yastrzemski kid that's in this. Mookie Betts to 60. Barnes to 125. Here's a Bryce Harper. This was to 50. Or, um, yeah, 50. Baby, you're a firework. And a Mookie. Anybody see the interview, the movie? It's on Netflix. It's our singing firework. It was kind of funny. The movie, the movie was horrible from like a real movie critic view, but from a mindless entertainment to veg out to and watch, it was interesting. Jock Peterson, fresh faces, Rizzo, tie dye, brawn red, Mazarasco purple. There's a Rusney, fresh faces. Yeah, hang on, Bryson. Lorenzo, Hudson, Justin, Darvish, Gavin, Kirby, Dilson. There's a Trout Red to 175. Later, Mock. Yeah, exactly. As a joke movie, I mean, it's no, it's not, <laughs> it's not good. But just, you know, just the comedy is just so over the top, ridiculous, crazy. Remember this Adam Wainwright, bad boy, to 10. I hate handling these because they're so pointy down here. Oh, you got it, Bryson P? 